Hello lovely planner people and um, welcome to my channel. This is my planner space where we will have planner time and I hope that you will find a safe space to do your crafting alongside me. Um, you will get as much planner content as I can fit together and if you have any ideas or anything you want to see please let me know. Um, I currently film hauls, plan with me's videos and unboxings as well as collaborations with other channels so if you would like to collaborate on a video let me know. Let's get started. Hello beautiful humans, I hope you are having a wonderful day, whatever time of day it is and wherever in the world you are. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Today we are going to be planning together, hopefully. Um, hopefully, I always would like to imagine that people plan along with me, so if you ever do, please leave it in the comments because it would like fulfill this envisionment that I have, <laughs> envisionment? This vision that I had in my head that people are crafting with me. But even if you just sat watching, hi, welcome. I will be crafting today. I will be doing um, my weekly spread from the 18th to the 24th of October. Excuse that noise, it's my chair. I always have to say that because it makes some suspicious kind of noises. Um, to the 18th to the 24th of October and I'm going to be using this Moon Magic Kit from the Pink Planner Shop. So just so everyone knows, full disclosure, I am on the PR team for um, Pink Planner Shop. So I get these products gifted, they are digital products, and then I then print them off in my own sticker paper and my own cutting machine, which I use a silhouette portrait too. Um, and we are currently friends, but it's a bumpy ride, um, me and my silhouette machine, we have um, our differences. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Please let me know if you also have that problem, mine has a mind of its own. But it's been working for me recently, so I print it off a lot whilst it's in a good mood, so that hopefully I'm done for a while. So I'll show you this kit um, and before I just show you or whilst I'm showing you let me tell you that this kit is currently on sale for £2.17 pence, and that includes everything that you can see here. Um, obviously you can print it off in better quality than this if you have a better printer um, and also on better quality paper than me. I use the cheapest stuff going because I want to try and keep on budget um, whilst still having a very pretty planner with lots of different kits and stickers. So for this um, there's currently 40% off in the shop, which is why it's currently £2.17. But what I just think is, for £2.17, that's probably normally like one sheet like this. In a physical shop, you might get this for that much money. But you're getting all of these. And I know the digital files, so you're going to have to work a bit yourself. And please ignore the scruffy edges. I went for just getting on with things today as opposed to really prettying them up. But you get all of these forever. So, you know... I can use these next Halloween, I can use them in Halloween's to come, I can use it absolutely any time because some of these kits, uh, well a lot of the kits, are not just specifically for one time of the year. Um, the shop does have an incredible amount of um, like occasion um, kits, so for, they have, I think they have them in groups, so there's autumn and fall, winter, um, Halloween, Christmas. Um, and things like that and the new year kit's just been sneaked so I will certainly be downloading that and getting that ready as well for new year but that's a lot of pages for £2.17 pence. and even when it's £3.39 at its normal price I just still think that's a properly good value so I'm going to be using that today it has everything you need in here you do not need a single other sticker shop kit um, stickers or anything like that I do add extra but you don't need to I have quite a lot of the kit left over when I'm done. Um, but yeah, I use this really cheap yellow backed paper, which I think is £5 for 50 sheets or something like that. So it goes a long way for me. So if you are thinking, I love planning and I love using stickers, but I just can't afford to keep buying these weekly kits, monthly kits, this might be a way forward. And the initial outlay, you know, for the silhouette and the sticker paper and the printer and the ink and things like that is a lot, but it's... When you think about how, if you're going to do this and you're going to go all in planning, it's actually a lot more of an affordable way to do things. Um, especially if you use um, instant ink, which I do, um, I find it really, really useful. Okay, so without me blabbering on, um, I'm now going to do what I always do. I'm going to put you on time lapse and I'm going to fill in the... the I'm going to set the spread out like I would do. And normally I fall into this um, three row situation and I'm probably going to fall into that again so I'm going to do that whilst we are um, on time lapse so you're not going to spend forever watching this video and then I'll come back when it's time to start putting in everything in place and I'll talk to you then.
Okay, so in all of my getting organised wisdom, I actually forgot to print off the sheet with all of the headers and dividers. So I didn't have any. So in the end, after saying that I didn't need to use any stickers from other sheets, I did actually end up having to bring in some of the basic stickers from Papershire and just use the scalloped headers. And actually, I think they looked quite good. So I was quite pleased with them. I also, here they are now, I think, into screen. Yeah, I'm going to use those. And then I also forgot to put the washi down and used two of the skinny washi instead. So all in all, it was a bit of a fail, but I like it. Right, well, that was quite the ordeal, trying to figure out where to put everything um, and me, me messing up printing the sheets. But I have these four fashion girls left over. Oh, that one might have been more like my hair colour. I don't know, it doesn't matter. I love them, but I don't need that many of that one. Um... I've used most of these scallop headers from Paper Shine now, but I'm going to order some more hope this some left because I do love them. I also realised, which I think I told you in the voiceover, that I forgot to use the big washi, but I actually like this little one very much as well. So that's fine. I'll save that for another spread. So now it's all going to be about, when I can get hold of them, filling up the rest of the week with all of these. And I've also got this, but I'm going to save this and use this in my catch-all. Um, because it's just too much and because there's quite a lot going on this week I need the space to write this time so I'm going to use that in sort of in sync and put that over up on my catch-all planner so hopefully that makes sense um right well first things first I'm going to put down this fashion girl in the sidebar I'm going to use this girl with this hair I keep saying to my husband that if I felt more confident in myself I would definitely have this hair, but I'm probably getting to an age now where people would go, what are you doing? And I shouldn't care about that. But um, yeah, that is like goals hair for me. <laughs> I would love it, but my hair's more like this. Okay, so that's those. If there's anyone in the UK that would like these fashion girls and would use them, let me know. I'll post them to you. Um, I'm happy to pop them in an envelope with a stamp on. Because um, I don't think I'll use those this year and I know that the shops that I support will come out with new things next year. So I don't particularly need them. And I'm not currently working in school so normally I'd give them to the girls that I teach but um, I'm not currently in school. Okay, so this week I need something to put up here. Oh my goodness, my chair's driving me mad. I don't know if it's driving you mad but it's driving me mad. Today, oh, today is this Tuesday. I'm a little bit behind. So Graham's working from home this week. And yesterday um, I had quite a homey day. Um, so I'm just going to put in here. Doo, doo, doo. I think what I'll probably do actually is put Graham working from home. Because he's working from home all week. So I'm going to put that on the sidebar. Here. and make it straight. Great, I'm working from home. And then here I'll put um, homey day. I'll put a little vanilla, probably doing some washing. Um, and then, oh my goodness. Okay, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, and then we will go with this here. And I'll just pop in, get Grace and stuff ready for PE tomorrow. And last night what did we do oh we did our own thing last night so I edited some videos so I'll pop that in as well I'm really trying hard to get ahead of the game with my content because I really want to in fact you know what instead of that being there I'm gonna put one of these giant boxes in because I feel like we did quite a few little bits yesterday with it being a homey day um yeah I am um, basically Trying to get ahead of the game, trying to plan in advance, getting as much edited and uploaded as possible um, so that I can try and be on top of things because, and I'll say this casually and without any massive commitment, but actually I really want to do it. I really want to do Vlogmas this year and I mean one video per day for the entirety of the lead up to Christmas. So I'm planning that and trying to get on board with that and, and get as many ideas as I can together and start thinking about when I'm going to start planning and filming those videos and stuff. So I'm just currently getting my head around those. 
Um, today is Tuesday, so let's put these ones on here because the boys, my youngest two boys have gone down to my mother-in-law's for the day. Um, she has them on a Tuesday for me and then Grayson's gone to school. Um, it's PE day and multi-sports day and parents' evening, so it's quite the day. Um, oh no, I peeled off a sticker before from my other planet because I wanted to use it in this one and it like ripped a little bit and I was like, it's okay because I'll glue it and now I've lost it. I hope I find it because it was like a parent-teacher conference sticker from Paper Shire and it was really cute and I think I only have one. So I'm going to try and find that. It's probably floated off somewhere into the room. <laughs> oh, here it is. Yep, it's on the floor. Okay, so I'm going to print stick this in because I peeled it off my other planner and now it um, obviously hasn't got any sticky on it. But that's what my print stick's going to come in handy for. So I'm going to put this uh, here. And that's today. So I'm excited about that because with COVID and everything, you just don't get to see the teachers. <laughs> And it's weird sending your five-year-old in and not really ever having a conversation with your teacher. But there we go. So that's happening and I'll put a little vanilla there. Tomorrow is another quite homely day and it's the day before the cleaner comes. And so the day before the cleaner comes, I make sure that the house is really, really tidy. And I know that sounds counterproductive, but I want the cleaner to deep clean my house. I don't want her to be making beds. I don't want her to be, you know, fixing, like sorting toys out and things like that. Like I like for her to come in and deep clean and for her to be able to do that i need to make sure that it is um tidy so she can actually get to the stuff and my house is generally tidy enough but um i like to make sure it's literally like she can come in and get to absolutely everything she wants to access so that will be tomorrow so i'm gonna i've just put this in thinking about the cleaner coming but i will now put i think a little checklist in because then I can literally go through it and be like, front room, boys' rooms, you know, bathrooms, and just so that I know that they're tidy and take them off as I go. Um, and in the morning, I'll be doing, I'll do that whilst the boys are napping. So in the morning, we'll do some spooky activities probably. So I'm gonna use um, one of these. We'll do some spooky crafts tomorrow morning, most likely. Um, and I don't know if I know what else is happening tomorrow. So I'll leave that like that for now. So those three are planned. Thursday, I go to gymnastics with Theo and the cleaner is coming and then martial arts. That's happening tomorrow as well. So I need to put that in. Graham's taking him tomorrow. My eldest son goes to martial arts, so. I'll put that up here. I know it happens in the evening, but I've now put that in the evening. So, what was I going to put? Oh, spooky activities. I might change those around. Because it's going to bug me that he goes to martial arts in the evening. And it's up there. <laughs> I don't actually have strict time slots for these, but clearly my mind does go to those areas of the day. Right, okay. Nope. Nope. This never works the second time around, does it? I don't know if it does for you. There we go, that'll do. Okay. Lovely. And then martial arts again on Thursday. And I take him on Thursday. Now, normally, we do do this at the weekend. But because our weekends are super busy at the moment, it's happening on a... Um, normally, I, in a, I say normally. It's not happened for a while. But in an ideal world, we go Tuesday and we go Saturday... But very recently, September through to now, Grayson's school put her multi-sports on on a Tuesday. So that shifted that. Um, and we've been really busy in the weekends. So Graham tends to take him on a Wednesday. I tend to take him on a Thursday. So hopefully we'll eventually get back to his normal days and see his like normal classmates and things like that in, in uh, the dojo. But it works fine for now. Martial arts there. Friday. Um, I, don't, I don't think I have a single thing planned for Friday. So I'll leave that relatively free for now Saturday is my birthday <clears throat> so I've put this little cake there <clears throat> excuse me I put that little cake there I'm gonna put this little cake there as well because you know what's the birthday if it's not if it's cake um 
and then we're going to see a show. So I wonder if there's anything here that I can signify that with. I have definitely got stickers in my in my arsenal because I'm a performing arts teacher. So if I didn't have some sort of dramatic stickers, I'd be failing, wouldn't I? But I don't think there is any in this particular one. But I'm quite I'm quite gonna. I think I'm gonna use these because basically I my son my eldest son loves shows, same as me, and he's desperate. He's been desperate to go to a show for some time now. And um, when I saw that there was one on in our local theatre. Um, that Grayson could enjoy it's Jack and the Beanstalk, it's a pantomime. Um, that he could enjoy. I booked it on my birthday, and he kept saying to me, Mummy, can we take sweets? Can we take treats? Can we? Because <laughs> he's so excited about this idea of sitting there and eating treats. So, I'm gonna put that big pile of sweets, um, in there as well. And I, I feel like, again, I should know this, and I feel like I do know this, um, as a performing arts teacher, but a pantomime's a thing outside of the UK I feel like they're not I feel like people if you're watching in America might not know what or anywhere else if you're watching from anywhere else might not be familiar with what a pantomime is um because I, I think it's quite a British thing so please let me know so I'd be really intrigued to know the sort of culture of pantomime um around the world okay now I think in terms of boxes there's tons and tons and tons left I'm gonna just pop a box under this cake if I can peel this up because the reason I put this big double box down at the bottom here oh no I'm gonna I don't want to break the cake <laughs> I put this double box down at the bottom because we, okay now I'm gonna leave it because we we're gonna decorate the house on Sunday but I'm gonna just put it up here instead decorate the house leave that there hopefully that doesn't ruin anything um and then I'm gonna put the show here um there we go there we go, there we go, there we go. And Friday, I don't know what's happening. I don't know. So I think what I'm going to do is put one of these four boxes because... Oh, wait, no, Friday's playgroup. Baby brain. Playgroup in the morning. And then, and then I don't know what happens after that. So we can then put one of these in Friday in the bottom slot so that we can... Um, write some to-dos if we have them, if and when we have them on that Friday. There we go. Okay, let me show you all the all the bits that are left over from this kit. And also remembering that I forgot to print two of them off. So I have this full box that I'm going to, well, four full boxes that I'm going to use in my catch-all planner. So that's going over there for that. I'll put a picture in this as well as how I use that. All these fashion girls that um, are just not going to get used because I don't need to repeat them um, and I've chosen the ones I want to use. The washi that I forgot to use and oh I want to use this. <laughs> I'm gonna put that here. It's a really cute sticker so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put it there and then I'll put like um, a little thing up the top there. Um, all these boxes Mm. all these boxes and I'm going to put this one up here um, some deco and some cute little squares and then these checklists I think I'm going to put this little magic pumpkin because it's super cute here and oh this <laughs> this um is a pumpkin with the coloured smoke coming out of it and I will put in a picture let me just write down what I need to put pictures in of what did I just promise you picture of oh the full box in the catch-all I have to do this because when I'm editing I'll never remember and also pumpkin smoke I'm going to write down because it was almost a year ago actually when we announced the my third pregnancy and we did this uh, mine wasn't pink. I was hoping it was going to be pink, which is a taboo thing. I think people, um, oh, I don't mind what gender I have. And again, I don't. I, I love this, the babies to the world and back. Um, but we had two boys, so we were kind of hoping that we might be able to have a girl. But it was blue smoke that came out of our third one. And oh, it was so lovely. It was such a lovely experience. Um, it was cool as well. The boys were buzzing, looking, uh, watching it come out. So I said, oh, I'll put a picture in here of that. Um, and I'll insert it because I just think, what a cute memory, because it was literally almost a year. Where am I going to put this? I want it to be like somewhere. I'm going to pop it. 
that. Oh god, I'm making a long meal out of this, aren't I? There. No? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's well. Um, yeah, it was so lovely. We came up with the idea to do that because I, I love I love taking photos and I thought it would be a really cool photo and a way to announce the pregnancy, which it was. So there it is in its before the pen. You know what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna go take pictures of these before the pen. Then I'm going to come back, add in writing and add in any little deco bits that I want to add in from things that weren't from the Pink Planner Shop. So bear with me whilst I do that. It'll be a second for you and about 20 minutes for me. See you in a sec. Okay, so I've been and got all the stickers I think I might need for this week. Let's see where we're going to put them all. Okay, so this is the podcast vanilla, but I'll be doing voiceovers for these videos. And I'll be doing them today. Um, so... Where will I put it? I think I might put it here and I'm just going to put film and edit because I feel like that works for there. Oh, that's my dog. <laughs> Apologies, Willow's grumping in the background. And um, the next one I picked out was this birthday label do doodle label birthday. <laughs> I don't know why I got that the wrong way around. Um, these are all paper shire, by the way, because you know, if you know, you know. Um, obviously, it's my birthday on that day and I did put this here but it's getting pulled back up and I'm putting this one down and luckily look how cute that matches the colours with the pink and the yellows and that's really nice I love how vibrant that sticker is so that one's done the next thing I have is this martial arts um vanilla which I use every week it's just so cute so martial arts here with Graham and then there'll be martial arts with me on Thursday and he's grading next week so we'll be using quite a lot of these we go quite a lot in grading week um and then i'm gonna choose this again for my little tumbles session which is gymnastics with my middle boy which i love i love going to that with him every week um then birthday <laughs> we've got cake we've got cake we've got sweets so i'm gonna go with presents um and pop that uh, maybe here yeah cute i love these they're just so perfect for me i just i just absolutely adore them um i think i'm gonna stick a youtube in here this week um there should be a video going up i think i might have scheduled it for today actually which is the yeah tuesday so i'm gonna put this here like that so youtube there and i'm gonna i'm gonna try and do basically a video um up until December when again I'll I'll say it tentatively I'm hoping to do Vlogmas I'm going to try and do Tuesday Saturday Sunday um just to get me used to and get into that habit of filming um editing uploading and things like that I had actually got this sticker out but it's just not going to be any need for that one that's a vlogging sheet um why did I get this out Oh, I think I was going to use it to mark my birthday if I couldn't find these, but I found those, so that's fine. Next up is this um, game boards one. That's a full sheet. I definitely have some that I've not used, uh, that I've used some of, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I know that on my birthday, we're going to go and see a show, but then after in the night, I'm probably going to want to play some board games. So I'm going to pop that on there. Um, and then I got these comfy girls out, but actually I don't think there's, any, oh, I don't think there's actually going to be anywhere to put them. So I'm going to save those for my catch-all planner. Um, and then I think I'm going to use this. My son's teacher isn't actually greying, um, but she does have similar hair to this. So I'm going to put that there for parent-teacher conference. This is the back to school um, sticker sheet, which is so cute. I love it. Um, and then again, I got fall girls out just in case I wanted to use one of those, but there's not enough space, so that's fine. Then we have got the cleaner coming um, on Thursday, so I'm going to pop this in here for the cleaner coming. And then I also got these party stickers out for my birthday, but I feel like we've kind of covered that day, so I can probably use some of those for... Um, my catch-all this sheet um it's school kid boy from paper shire and i'm gonna stick this on friday because i've just realized it's the last day of, of term of half term 
so they're going to have a week off the week after this so i'm going to pop that in there so we can remember that this is another birthday sheet from <laughs> paper shy but i'm gonna i am gonna use this cute little bun and bear um balloon because it's super cute and again we've got enough cake going on on that day so that's fine i've pulled this sheet out because um, I'm actually going to have to buy it again because I've used all the tickets now. But it has little tickets and we're going to see this um, show. So I'm going to pop that ticket in there. Um, and then lastly, I had these gorgeous kiddie cuddles um, stickers. So I am going to get one of those and I'm going to pop it down here. So we're going to decorate the house and have a snuggly Sunday probably. Um, and then the last thing was these spooky activities that I'm going to be doing tomorrow. I'm not sure what the spooky activities are going to be yet, but I think it's something along the lines of sensory spookiness. So I'm going to put um, that there for spooky activities. Okay, so that all that leaves me to do is to write everything in, which I'm going to do on time lapse so that you're not spending forever watching me do it. Um, and then I'll be done. So I'll talk to you over on the voice note. So as you can see, I am just making a note of all the things that I'd already told you about earlier on in the video. It is just the key things for the day. Um, a lot of the other stuff that I do during the day is caught in my catch-all planner, which I do love to use. But I just can't help loving how cute this spread is. And there we have... <laughs> Willow chiming in at the, in the background. There we have the final product for this week. A little bit of space to add things as we go. But I hope you enjoyed that moon magic kit and as much as I did because I absolutely love it. I will see you in the next video, which is Halloween week and definitely the most chocker week of the um, school year so far, if not the whole year. So look forward to that and I'll see you in the next video. Have a happy and healthy week, everyone. Bye.